Believe in yourself. I've been taught that since my childhood. Come on, Nicholas. You're gonna be something one day. Pick yourself up, Mr. Parker. Don't let anyone let you down again. Don't let anyone ever tell you you aren't good enough, because you are. Trust your heart, because your heart is the only thing you can know for a fact is pure. But what can you do when you meet someone cleaner than you? Someone whose hands aren't as dirty. I met that dame over two weeks ago, Sasha Evans. That's what I thought. I couldn't think straight. I could find the right thoughts I was looking for, but it wasn't what my publisher was looking for. As a writer fresh on the scene, everything was looking up for me. I had worked day and night to get to the place where I was now, and now I was there. My book wasn't going as well as I desired. It wasn't even going at all. My publisher, Mr. Richard Larson, had given me deadlines already, and they were soon approaching. Oh, if I only knew what would happen next. But right then, I didn't need the stress of deadlines. I needed some air. I needed a drink. I've always liked to go outside for my inspiration. My office, as nice as it is, usually stagnates my thoughts with smoke and darkness. People think I'm weird. For good reason, too. It's not every day you see someone getting wasted on top of a playground. People usually stare, too, but I tend not to notice them. It's my own little fantasy, my castle on a hill. No one's really intruded on it. Until that day, when I saw her. Attractive dames always have caught my eyes. So what do we have here? Just wait, I'll give you the money. It's not like I've never done it before. Are you gonna keep harassing me or are you gonna let me do my thing? Okay, shut up, bye. Now, what's a pretty lady like yourself doing out here in the morning? Why would you want to know? A hunter. You know what he's up against whenever he's hunting. Why would he go after the biggest prey without knowing even the name of the animal? So, you're saying that you're a hunter. What makes you think that? Darling, all I wanted was a name. Selena Ebony. Well, my name is Nathan Pierce. Now, don't get me wrong. Be Nathan Pierce? Shouldn't you be sitting in your office writing your sequel? Well, don't worry. I'm almost done. I mean, I just have to finish this prologue and killing hooks. Get the third book in the series. It's it's gonna be a series, don't get me wrong. Now, why would a woman such as yourself be reading books like mine? Since when did your assumptions bring you anywhere? You didn't even get my name last time. You tried. Well, I suppose that's true. She was perfect. Well, Not just for me, though. For my book as well. Sasha Eddins had made her appearance right before my eyes. And that was inspiration that you could not find anywhere else. Writing was coming easier and easier as the days of the deadline came closer and closer. The stress of Mr. Larson's mandate soon made its presence in my writing. Nicholas Parker took a step out from his office into the cold breeze. A wave of nausea overtook him. It was happening again. He couldn't move. He couldn't breathe. He checked his watch to find the time only to realize that it was gone. Like his time had run out. Oh no, he exclaimed. My watch. Where's my watch? Patting his pockets, he realized his wallet was gone as well. Sasha, he remembered. She wanted to meet me at the beach today. Maybe she can help me then. I've got to call her. He picked up his phone to punch in the number, only to realize. The crickets convinced me to call in a night. Staying up late before a meeting with a man with pays you is never a good idea. I'll be there, right and early, 9 a.m. sharp. Almost done. It's only three. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. 
I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost Jeez, again? You're late, Pierce. Yeah, sorry, I slept in. Look, I don't want to hear your excuses. I only hope that your first draft isn't as late as you are. I've already postponed the deadline long enough. You got potential, Pierce. And I don't want to see you squander all the time I put into you. Again, sir, I'm sorry, but did you really call me here just to berate me on my tardiness? Could have just as easily called me. Nope, you're right. I do have something to tell you. Please sit down. I'm afraid there have been some difficulties with our public creation programs and your previous books. According to our secretary, some previous books and the triads. Yes, I know you don't want anything to come out, especially if it's about your ex-wife. But I'm afraid it has. We have to put you on precautionary. You know, we live in Hong Kong. Oh, God. Pierce, it does not make me comfortable to be the bearer of bad news. But someone had to tell you. This is just another reason why you have to get your script in. If anything happens to you, no one else, not even some ghostwriter, can finish your book due to the fact that you chose to keep your pre-writes in your head. Oh, please, Mr. Pierce, you already run into worse scraps than this. Just finish the book and everyone will be happy about it. Thank you for going to find me. It was happening again. I couldn't think straight, I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. The earth was slowly and sinisterly spinning around me. My up was down, my heart was cold. The ocean rushed up to greet me on dry land and the sun dried up the ocean. The ocean. The... Oh no. My watch. Where's my watch? What's going on? I need... I need air. I need to think this out. I need to talk this out. Selena, she help me out. She has to. I can't work until I get this out of my head. Hello? Hello, is this Selena? Yes, 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 this is Nathan. No, I need you, okay? I need to talk to you. No, I'm not in the gutter. You're wrong about that part. Okay, this is, this, this is, this is much worse. I, okay, I can't even, okay, same place, same place. 11? Okay, if you're, if you, if you're there, I'll tell you everything. I'll just, I'll lay it all out, okay? Why wouldn't I? I might die before the end of tonight. Okay, okay, what's going on, what's going on? <sighs> Something's going on, and you can't explain it, Nathan. Okay, okay, okay. What do you know for a fact? Think, think, okay. Calm down, write it down, sit down, write out a list, okay. <sighs> list, facts, okay. But how can I write stuff down whenever it's coming to life? Okay, okay, breathe, breathe. You haven't died yet. <laughs> okay, that was 10 years ago. That, that was, that was history. Just, okay, 
List, list, one. You are Nathan Pierce. If you finish this book, you're in the clear, Nathan. First the wallet, then the watch, then the sickness, then the dizziness, then the paranoia. Okay, you know something's happening. Okay, in the book. Sasha kills Nicholas because he was diagnosed for some mental illness. Okay, your book's coming to life. Okay, that's big picture. Only things that have happened are small details. The watch, the wallet, sickness. That's such a thing as coincidence, right? I mean, not everything can... Oh, no. If anything happens to her, I will kill myself. I need help. Not even a watch or a wallet. I guess I'm the one who's full. I guess I hadn't figured everything out. Maybe I'm not the novelist I thought I was. This is what I get for trusting myself. Sure. Uh, can you let me in? This is Pierce's office. It's a shame you had to die like this. I know. Two weeks of potential right there. He's a really good writer. What's this? 